What is up everybody and welcome to the channel and today we are finally going to be talking about Night Terror's First Blood. This is the real start of the Night Terror's event. In the last video we talked about the free comic book day special edition preview where I showed off the uh, Robin Nightmare and this book, oh boy oh boy, this thing starts off what I was anticipating the most. I love horror. And so being able to have a DC horror themed event, oh, it's gonna be so good. Anyways, so this is the cover. And we start off, oh, by the way guys, watch this show, it's pretty good. We start off with a Superman little nightmare. Uh, he, he sees that he's, he's very happy with these kids. This isn't Superman, by the way, guys. I just wanna throw that out there. I, I was just like doing a little bit of trolling. But he is happy with the kids here. And then all of a sudden, look at this. They're like, we need another kid. And it is Dr. Destiny. I, I was just kidding, guys. It's not a Superman. But um, yeah, so we see that this is Dr. Destiny. And this nightmare is actually trying to lead him to the Hall of Justice. And it's the, the purples and greens that they use. It just gives you all kinds of spooky Halloween vibes. But everything is all messed up. Like, look at the picture. So he's being led here. And, you know, he uses the dream stone. But he's trying to get to the nightmare stone. Um, obviously, Insomnia, the new villain. Who I feel like he's going to be really cool. Uh, he wants the Nightmare Stone because once he gets his hands on the Nightmare Stone, some bad things happens. But John D. or Dr. Destiny will not give him the information he needs. Night Terror's first blood. So then we see Dead Man here. And, you know, he's talking about how Batman gets a cave, he gets a graveyard. He doesn't get many visitors and all this stuff because he's going to play a pivotal role in this event. We see him flying off because he senses some kind of impending doom. So he's trying to follow that sense and he, he feels it on Superman like he's being haunted. And so he obviously can't talk to Superman without possessing a body. But he sees Superman, you know, doing saving people, stuff like that. Then he sees Wonder Woman and he gets the same sense that she's also being haunted. And they're on their way to meet at the Hall of Justice because something had actually happened there. The alarms are going off. And then we see Batman, and he also has the feeling that he's being haunted. And Dead Man is trying to figure out a way to actually talk to him because he can't he, he can possess them. Well, but he's trying not to. Well, we see they're going deeper inside the Hall of Justice, all this stuff, and they find the body of Dr. Destiny. Batman knows who he is instantly. But then it's weird because he gets a call from Harley Quinn, and he they're screaming because Dr. Destiny hasn't escaped Arkham Tower yet, and he's screaming there. So if Dr. Destiny's there, then who is that? So Deadman tries to actually possess the body, but he can't. So what does he do? He does what Batman doesn't want him to do and possesses Batman's body and tells them that something's happening. Somebody is doing something that's extremely dangerous and primordial. And they have to stop it. And then we get the Dark Knight Terrors Batman. So after that... Batman kicks him out, but he gets the idea, and Trinity figures out something's going on. So, Batman is going to be on his way to tow to the tower, and he wants Deadman to follow him. And somebody reports back to Amanda Waller. I'm tired of her, actually. Good God, like, she doesn't need to be in every single thing. Um, and we see that Dr. Destiny is screaming about don't fall asleep, because he, he wants the Nightmare Stone, and it will be the end of everything if he gets it. So, he can't fall asleep. Then he just like cursed splats. He died in this dream. He gets Nightmare on Elm Streeted. He gets Freddy Krueger. He's dead. He actually dies. They killed him off. Bravo, DC. You killed off a character. He'll be back. And uh, so after that, we get his body jumping up. And it's not dead, man. And he starts like insulting Batman. Talking about you are not the 
you don't you don't control the shadows you hide in them and stuff like that and um yeah, this cool image pretty much of him falling apart and like look at this look at this artwork it is insanely good and harley quinn ends up falling asleep and we got zatanna using magic trying to figure out what's going on but so harley falls asleep Superman looks like he falls asleep. They're all falling asleep. There's Robin, Joker, Nightwing, Ravager, people. Oh, she's crazy. So then, like I said, there's Harley falling asleep. Batman tries to use adrenaline to keep him awake, but when he comes out of this fog, wearing the suit that he was wearing on the same night that his parents died, so Dead Man takes over his body to try to fight back, but it, it doesn't work. He gets beat, and there is insomnia to be continued in Night Terrors across the DCU. So, this was really cool, like really interesting. I can't wait to see more. But after that, the next book will be Night Terrors Batman. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.